so we were in systemic bacteriology so that means we are uh, studying individual bacteria in alphabetical order a to z order right so we have finished with gardenella now next is h h is h pylori okay h pylori you know it's important topic it has a lot of uh, uh, definitely questions are asked from this topic let's go to the topic now what are the diseases caused by h pylori you know what are they they are gastritis one and other one is your peptic ulcer disease peptic ulcer disease it could be gastric ulcer or it could be urinary ulcer right and other one is your stomach carcinoma all the carcinoma so you know frequently asked question is this which is the most common cancer adenocarcinoma in stomach caused by h pylori apart from that it causes non-hodgkin and maltoma maltoma also is caused by h pylori that question is frequently asked you must know that what are the virulence factors? Virulence factors is ureus positive. Ureus positive, see, ureus, we have a punch. You know, when you say someone says ureus, give a punch. So in punch, P4 produce is very, very important. And P, U, N, C. Okay. Uh, C, again, the cryptococcus, N, no cardia, U, ureoplasma. That's okay. Fine. H. H was this H pylori. Okay. So don't forget that. That is important question frequently asked. What do you say? When the ureus, because ureus is very important role. When someone says urea, give a punch. Okay. Give a killer punch. A normal punch, killer punch. K for Klebsiella also. Right. So now this H stands for this H pylori. So ureus positive. It's important question because it has important virulence factor. Another one is VACA and CAGA. VACA is vacuolating cytotoxin, important question. And CAGA is a cytotoxin associated gene. These are also having these are also playing important role in H pylori pathogenesis. Diagnosis. Diagnosis, you know, one of the easiest tests and uh, most commonly used to test is your what? Ureus breath test. Ureus breath test, I'm not going to say the mechanism, you already know it. It's basically you give a tablet, you know, urea tablet. And then it goes into stomach, it dissolves, and it liberates what? Ammonia and CO2, right? Ammonia and CO2. The CO2 which is liberated, it you know, it comes, goes to the blood, and then you know you're exhaling it out. Now, what are you measuring that CO2? That CO2 is measured in a uh, result, and so if it is more CO2, then it's more what your H pylori infection is more. That's the way you're going to uh, do this one. Urease breath test. So non-invasive test is which one? Which is your non-invasive test? So if they ask which is the most popular quick treatment or a quick uh, diagnosis and for treatment prognosis, it is your urease breath test. That's what urease is important. Urease, uh, you forget urease any, but don't forget urease is positive for H. pylori and proteus. Okay, proteus, prochita, urease is important. H. pylori, this urease is very, very important. And you know, that is the pink color. And if you remember the pink color picture in the YouTube, when it, just pink, it changes into pink color, that's your urease test. Okay, now what is this? And this you can have in your picture. This is a picture-based question. So you see, it is this, 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 these are the bacilli. These are the bacilli. It's black colors. Black color means that is definitely silver stain. Koi black color of dekte ho, usually it is silver stain. So what is this? What is this? Uh, 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 what is the stain ka now? Vartin? Vartin stary. Vartin stary silver stain. That's a question. That was a question frequently asked. Is to stain? You see? Vartin Vartin stary. Vartan Stary Silver Stain. That's it. Okay, Vartan. Vartan is the name you have to remember. That's it. Okay, you remember that one. Uh, it's okay. You will remember uh, this question easily. Okay. Vartan Stary Silver Stain. There is one more basin. Basin stain bhi aata hai baat mein. You remember. Basin, WWW skiller mein bolo. Basin stain hai. That will come in your Ersenia. 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 Basin will come in the Ersenia. Why Ersenia? Vartan is in the Vartan Stary Silver Stain. It is used for the H. pylori, important question. Okay. And what is the basal? Uh, the it's a curved basal. Of course, nothing much special. Culture media is cruise media. As I told you, camp me camp me chate ho, camp me, camp me, camp la vector me. Aap kya karogi? Skiing karogi. Skiing, skiing for fun. You're doing skiing. The ski o me nahi idhar bhi hai. Because camp la also is in the stomach. Of course, pollen also it causes infection. But remember, the cruise media is used for camp la vector also and for H. pylori. Question. This also question. Okay. And it's your curved basal. That's it. So H me H pylori ho gaya. The next test is your. Hemophilus. Hemophilus in terms of the kya aega apko? What are the things you will remember when you say satellitism? Very good. Satellitism is an important one. H, H influenza man. And then, you know, it it, 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 it as factor X and uh, V factor. Some say 10 and 5. That factor is important. And another thing is one of the important causes of your meningitis. Right? Neonatal meningitis. Okay. Yeah. Now, let's go to individual. So, now we talk about the H, uh, Hemophilus aegypticus. What are the things we are going to talk now here? Uh, the first one, hemophilus influence is next. First, let's talk about the Egypticus. Egypticus, ko kya, ya kya yaad karna hai? Bola tha. who is going to week, weekdays? Mein, kon, uh, Egypt ja hai party ke liye? Cox. Cox basically. Okay. Cox weak basically. Cox weak basically. We call this Cox weak basically. Cox weak Cox kya karta hai? Cox weekend me kaan jata hai? Mr. Cox weekdays me or weekend me kaan jata hai? Egypt jata hai. Egypt me jata hai or Brazil bhi jata hai. 
इजिप्ट जाता है ब्राजील भी जाता है जब इजिप्ट में जाएगा तो उसका आई कैन कौन से कलर में मेकअप करेगा पिंक कलर आई उसका होगा पिंक कलर ही गेट्स पिंक कलर आई यू अंडरस्टैंड हो गया अभी वट इज वैसे पिंक आई बिकॉज हिमोफिलस इजिप्टिकॉसेस वॉट पिंक आई पिंक आई कंजेटिविटीज होता है उसको पिंक आई दट्स क्वेश्चन पिंक आई दूसरा ब्राइजिलियन पुरपुरा ब्राइजिलियन पुरपुरा दो बार ये क्वेश्चन आ चुका है ब्राइजिलियन पुरपुरा पूरा पिंक आ तो पिंक और आ तो इजिप्ट इजिप्ट कौन इजिप्ट जाते कोक्स बीस को वीकेंड में कहाँ जाते हैं इजिप्ट जाता है ब्राइजिल जाता है जब जान में क्या कलर ये कहते पिंक कलर आई मतलब मेकअप करता है पिंक कलर आई आ जाएगा ओके दैट वॉट इज जस्ट फॉर क्लू ओके पिंक आई You got it. Now next one. Next one you go to uh, hemophilus influenza. Hemophilus influenza. I already told it. Whenever you have a flu, what do you say when you have a hemophilus flu? You say what? Five five. You say five five. Hemophilus. Ah, so after flu, okay, then flu, okay, then what will you do? H and P, okay, then flu. Okay, then what will you do? Five five. You will say five five. Okay, that's the easy way to remember. Okay. Now virulence factor again. What does meningitis do? It does. So definitely it has what capsule. So it has a capsule. Capsule is the main virulence factor apart from IgA protein. So that's the first question. And based on the capsule, we have A to have type in that in that which is type B is most virulent. B for bad boy. B is a bad boy. B for bad boy. He is a bad boy. B is bad bad. Okay, bad bad. Because just say what is it? This is the one of the most virulent type. The question is asked. Which is the most virulent type in H pel H influenza? Uh, H influenza. You already said it is the B type. बी बहुत फर्क पड़ता है बहुत सारे बी बीस आता है एक बोन हलम में कॉक्से की बी वायरस है रिमेम्बर दैट वन बी एक और बी अभी मेनिजेटिस में आएगा नेजर मेनिजेटिस में भी विच एस डजेंट हैव वैक्सीनेशन नेजर या मेनिजेटिस में भी इफ यू सी टाइप बी का देर इज नो वैक्सीन बिकॉज इट्स वो भी वुरुलेंट है and this ka vaccine nahi hai there is no vaccine for b type meningitis ka theek hai meningitis ka so b has lot of role remember b is important okay most virulent type disease no what is the disease cause as we told meningitis one of the common cause of meningitis okay h influenza and then also your it causes otitis media pneumonia and what else it causes one more important disease thumb print that is your एपीग्लोटाइटिस एपीग्लोटाइटिस डोंट फॉरगेट एपीग्लोटिस बहुत बार पूछे ई एन टी क्वेश्चन से ई एन टी क्वेश्चन ठीक है एपीग्लोटिस मीन इट्स लाइक दिस क्या साइन है ये ऑलरेडी टोल्ड सर थम प्रिंट वॉट यू सींग हेयर दैट इज योर थम प्रिंट दैट इज योर थम प्रिंट आ गया ना क्वेश्चन थम प्रिंट एक और थम्प्रिंट क्या था बोर्डेटेला पेट्यूसिस का बच्चे बोर्डिंग स्कूल में बच्चे क्या करते हैं थम से खेलता है ओके बोर्डेटेला में बोर्डिंग स्कूल में बच्चे क्या करते हैं खेलता है मतलब उसको वहां पर थम प्रिंट अपियरेंस थम प्रिंट अपियरेंस ऑफ ग्राम स्टेन में ठीक ग्राम स्टेन में यू गेट दिंग बट हेयर इन इन हेच इन प्रिंसी में क्या होता है यू गेट ए थम प्रिंट साइन एक्सट्रा एपिग्लोटेटिस बिकॉज ऑफ एपिग्लोटेटिस ओके सो यू ग्रो इन द चॉकलेट इट ग्रोस इन दी चॉकलेट अगर इफ इज इन द चॉकलेट अगर Ah, okay. In chocolate agar is actually blood laced agar. It has two factors, heming X and V factor. Just X factor and V factor along with factor NAD will be there. Now that's one thing. This picture you will have in exam. You might have. So this is tree and you see the colonies are growing here, right? You see the colonies are growing here. Yes, tree to Staphylococcus aureus ka tree uh, hai. Fir yahan par pura apka H influenza is tree. H influenza is tree, right? So fir kya hota hai? Staphylococcus aureus will provide NAD factor to H influenza. So, उसको वजह से you can see colony around like this, right? You can see colonies here, 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 all these colonies. So that is called satellitism. Satellitism, okay? Satellitism. So satellitism H influenza में आता है. एक sad test है, sad is different. Sad किस में आता है? Brucella. I already told you, standard agglutination test Brucella. और स्पेस व्हीकल किसका है आपको अडिनो वायरस अडिनन स्वामी के पास स्पेस व्हीकल है एक और सैटेलाइटिज्म है एच एन इन्फ्लुएंसा 55 बेसिस 55 में आपको सैटेलाइटिज्म आता है ओके एच एन एच इन्फ्लुएंसा इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्क्ड क्वेश्चन सो ऑलरेडी हो गया सो ओके ब्लड अगर में यू सी व्हाट दिस दिस इज द सैटेलाइटिज्म यू आर सीइंग दी सैटेलाइटिज्म 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 ओके सैटेलाइटिज्म ओके and then levental medium and fields are important field again and again 55 that's what i'm saying 55 when h influenza you say 55 five sir Pfeiffer basalite. That's also the other medium field. So you can say and levanthal medium also. Of course, for capsule rapid test, clearly you do latex agglutination. For any capsule, if you want to take a capsule, the best is your you do the latex agglutination test. Okay. Now, prophylaxis. Prophylaxis, as we know, B, B, as we told, B is the most virulent one. So of course, vaccine is its own. So what is that one? Hip vaccine. That is the H influenza B vaccine. So usually, it is pentavalent. What happens? Pentavalent means what happens? DPT one, two, three. A four hepatitis B score and Hib is five, so that's what's pentavalent. Okay, DPT with hepatitis B virus and Hib virus. 
So usually it's conjugated to dt, dt, which for effectiveness, you have to be a conjugate with the dt. Okay, that's it. That's easy. Now, H2 creep. H2 creep, so uh, hemophilia Egyptians, so Egypt, so Cox, basically, Cox weekend, me, that's Brazil, jata hai, uh, or uh, um, Egypt, jata hai. Uska pink hai jata hai, but okay, Brazilian, Brazilian football fever. Oh, ho gaya. Abhi dukre, dukre kya kaise? Dukre causes which dukre aage to ek hi chiz ab kya dena? What it causes? It causes STD, sexually transmitted disease. Especially it causes what? Ulcer, ulcer. Theek hai. This you have to remember. So now we are going to see what are the disease dukre. Dukre causes what? Any idea? It causes shanker or shankeroid. Shanker or shankeroid. Shanker. Roid, D, Ducre, Doyle, D, Ducre, Roid. Okay, that's important. So this what you're seeing here is a painful, painful shankeroid. Soft, but it is soft. Shankeroid, but soft. Okay, shankeroid is soft. Okay, the duck is soft. Duck, hai, duck, three, duck, duck is soft. Soft. Hai. But what syphilis me kya aata hai? Syphilis me, you can have the same picture in syphilis, but syphilis me, what is the thing important there? In syphilis me, it is painless. Hota hai. Syphilis me, it's painless. And how it is? Wamper, it is called shanker. Shanker, not shanker, it's shanker. And then this is a hard, we call it as a hard ulcer. Hard, hard shanker or a hard ulcer. This is a soft ulcer, but painful. Duck is painful. Okay. Phir, kya hota hai? So now we'll see what are the important things here. So H2 degree causes the the disease is the chancroid. The disease is which one? Disease is your chancroid. I'm going to write here. Chancroid. Okay, chancroid. D for duck, chancroid. Very painful. And what is this thing? This appearance as sakta hai. Maybe you can come. It's a, and also question to ask. See, you see here that they are going like a tram track. Okay, the bacillus are arranged in the form of tram track. So you can call it as tram stain. Tram track appearance or School of fish. School of fish. A dono barbar both both puchuka. School of fish. Aka kese yad karuga. Duck kena. Duck school jata. Duck goes to school. Duck goes to school bus. Ducks goes to school. Kese duck jata. Tram track upper walk karke jata. Tram track upper. Ducks walk karke school jata. Okay. Because a core hai. Stream of fish. Stream of fish hai. Stream of fish kis mein dekhta hai? Any idea? Stream of fish. Vibrio cholerae. Vibrio cholera. Vibrio cholerae. Cholera or cholerae. Vibrio cholerae. Oh, stream of fish ho gaya. So don't confuse. Stream, school are different. School is for duck. Ducks go to school on walking on the tram track. Okay. Very easy. That's the way you're going to remember it. Okay. And now it's a bipolar septum appearance. Now see the HACIC group. HACIC, you have hemophilus, aggregato batter, cardiobacterium, echinella, kingella. Echinella, kingella, right? Uh, hemophilus, uh, aggregatobacter, cardiobacterium, echinella, kingella. These are basically, they are, they are in an oral cavity and they have an important role in causing what? Culture, negative, culture, negative, infective endocarditis. Infective endocarditis. Okay. Mostly endocarditis is caused by staphylococcus, staphylococcus group. But if it's a culture negative, you will think about HACIC group. HACIC group, See, uh, which causes culture negative. Just one, one thing is that they cause a culture negative infective endocarditis, i.e. infective endocarditis. Among the most important is aggregator bacteria, of course, aggressive. Aggressive hai na, uska wajah se common hai. Aggregator, aggre aggressive, aggressive, aggregator bacteria is the most common one. And echinella, ek important cheese, echinella is common in the human body. A few times they've asked in this exam, it causes human body. And one more thing, uska colony is a pitting or corroded colonies. So, you know, if you human body, everything will be corroded and pitting only. So, it is pitting or corroded colonies. Okay, pitting or corroded colonies. Echinella, echinella causes pitting or corroded colonies. That you have to remember. Okay, right. Now, next, Klebsiella. Klebsiella. So, alphabetical, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, ho gaya. I, me kuch nahi hai. J, K, kuch nahi hai. So now we have uh, K. We are coming to K. K is Klebsiella. Klebsiella, important, most important thing in Klebsiella, two things. Ek to capsule hota hai, dousra urea is positive and they are non-motile. You remember non-motile interviews mein koon koon aata hai? Ek apko club aata hai, dousra apko apko shiga anti or shila anti koi bhi yaad karo shiga la, dousra ersinia, 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 uh, vaisen stain, vaisen stain, right? Ersinia. Agya. So, capsulated hota hai, that's what you call this a very mucoid. Uh, urease positive because killing punch. Ab kya karoge? Killing punch. Killing punch me K for K stands for K stands for your K stands for Klebsiella, right? And then Proteus aagya apko hemophilia uh, 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 your uh, uh, H pylori bhi ho gaya. Now Klebsiella pneumonia. So Klebsiella pneumonia. 
वट इट इज कॉल मैंने एक चीज बोला था जब आप अल्कोहल हो अल्कोहल के साथ क्या करने में पसंद आता है निमोनिया आगे तो अल्कोहल याद आना चाहिए बिकॉज इट्स कॉमन फॉर अल्कोहलिक क्वेश्चन में भी ऐसे आएगा एंड अल्कोहलिक पेशेंट हैज दिस 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 एंड गॉट ए निमोनिया ऐसे आता है सो फ्राइड लैंडर्स फ्राइड लैंडर्स सो रिमेम्बर दट इज अ फ्राइड लैंडर फ्राइड लैंडर बेसले फ्राइड लैंडर बेसले ओके सो दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फ्राइड लैंडर फ्राइड लैंडर okay fried lander basically it's common in which patients alcoholic it's common in the alcoholics alcoholics which very very common okay got it now next alcoholics now kya hota hai so it causes what typical pneumonia typical pneumonia cause kar that's one thing this is a sign here you see what is this fissure radiology mein wo bolega but still it's it's commonly as that's why i'm saying it's called bulging fissure bulging fissure kis mein hota hai aapka klebsiella pneumonia mein hota hai bulging fissure what about this जेली जेली क्या करते हैं अल्कोहलिक पेशेंट अल्कोहलिक पेशेंट्स को अल्कोहल के साथ अल्कोहल जब अल्कोहल पीने में आपको एक तो फ्राइड आइटम चाहिए कभी कभी लोग होता है दे लाइक टू हैव व्हाट करंट जेली दे लाइक टू हैव करंट जेली भी खाता है ओके नी इमेजिन अल्कोहलिक पेशेंट देविंग फ्राइड आइटम प्लस करंट जेली नशे ज्यादा होने के लिए ओके यू अंडरस्टैंड सो दिस अ करंट जेली अपियरेंस करंट जेली करंट जेली करंट जेली अपियरेंस करंट जेली अपियरेंस स्पूटम करंट जेली अपियरेंस sputum sputum current jelly appearance sputum bas ho gaya current jelly appearance sputum that's it now typical pneumonia so this is the one well, the idea is to say that they have they have you will have a rusty brown sputum this is a rusty brown or it's also called what current jelly raspberry kuch bhi doesn't matter but it's a current jelly appearance current jelly appearance sputum okay complication causes necrotic pneumonia that's what what sign you see or i told you bulging fissure you see bulging fissure bulging fisher you see the bulging fisher okay got it bulging fisher now yeah bulging fisher sign now what is this the ye ho gaya now your klebsiella pneumonia is done forget about it abhi de this is dusra disease ent question ent mein bhi ye question puch sakta hai but it's related to micro also what can you say a nose kaise lag raha hai aapko this is a uddi nose uddi nose uddi uddi hai to kya aana chahiye this also uddi nose theek hai uddi so uddi means kaun sa klebsiella 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 reno scleroma. Scleroma means hard. Scleroma means hard. You understand what I'm saying? Scleroma means it is hard. So, उसका वजह से उड़ी होता है. Hard होता है. Scleroma. So, उड़ी होता है. That's what you get. What? उड़ी नोस. आ गया ना? So, this is the उड़ी नोस. Okay. And now, uh, what is happening? उसमें two important cells हैं. एक mucoid cells. दूसरा क्या बोलते हैं? क्या body बोलते हैं? R for renal sclerometers and R for Russell bodies. Russell bodies. Russell bodies. These are the important things. Okay. Russell bodies. So ये आपका आ गया. Klebsiella renal sclerometers. Klebsiella renal. Okay. Scleroma. Scleroma तो hard है because the nose has become hard. उसको वैसे वो नाम ऐसे आ गया. So hard होगा तो क्या होगा? Nose will become hard. Udi हो जाएगा. Udi nose. Udi nose. क्या सेल्स देखोगी? Mucoid cell. R for R. R for Russell's body. Russell's body. Okay. Russell's body you see in renal scleroma. Next ये देखो. This is what this is what ये नोस देखो बहुत स्पेसी लग रहा है ओके इट्स अ रूमी नोस रूमी और स्पेसी नोस है ना रूमी नोस रूमी नोस और वेरी स्पेसी नोस सो दिस इज सीन इन विच वन यू सी इट इन दी ओजियाने मतलब दैट इज बेसिकली सीन इन विच दिस इज ए ट्रोफिक ए ट्रोफिक रिनाइटिस ए ट्रोफिक रिनाइटिस में यू हैव दिस सिम्टम दे आर सिवियर वेरी यू नो यू कॉल इट एस रूमी नोस Foul smelling. The you see big space हो जाता है क्या है ना? It becomes very roomy, spacey, and then uh, what you see you you the smell will be very you know, bad smell. That is caused by ozone. It's a type of allergy. It's a type of allergy. That's what because allergy they have this way. Okay, right. That's it. Okay, this is for you, Lumi. And now what this next one? Echo disease भी हैं. What is this? You see what you're seeing the uh, safety pin appearance. Safety pin appearance. Okay. And what is this one? You see. Beefy ulcer, beefy ulcer, right? Beefy ulcer, beefy ulcer, and safety pin, safety pin appearance, safety pin appearance. So, what are you getting? Any clue? Klebsiella granulomatous, exactly. Okay, 
Klebsiella granulomatous. This is a STD disease. This is a STD disease. Okay. This is Klebsiella granulomatous. This both are seen in Klebsiella granulomatous. Old name is called Kalamatobacterium. So how to remember this? This is not something else. Mr. Donan remember because it causes Donavanasis. D-O-N Donavan. Donavan is not the Donavan is not the He loves his wife so much. What does he take? He takes, gives her the safety pin. Okay. He gives her a safety pin. Number one. Number two. A good girl is Kali ka uh, he, he his favorite fighter is Kali. Kali his favorite fighter is Kali because Kalimatobacterium. Kalimatobacterium. His favorite fighter is Kali. Okay. Dusra kya hai? Wo Kali ka jaise banane ke liye he eats what lot of beef. I know many people get offended, but he he does what we can do. That's what he get beefy also. You understand? Donan agar to beef kata. Donan kata beef won't become like a Kali. And for wife, ke liye ke jata hai, safety pin. Leke jata hai. Got it? Bas, ho gaya. You STDs, one country, you will always make mistake. LGV, hai, STD, Klebsiella granulomatous, hai, or Shankaroid. Hai. Itna sara aap, you will feel like, oh my God, what happened to me? You will feel a little bit uh, this thing. Mm, confused, right? So no, no need to confuse. Ek to, uh, the, you remember the shortcut? You will remember. Okay. Dukre ka to duck yaad kar lo. Duck ka tram track appearance. Wo ho gaya. Theek hai? Uh, painful hota hai, soft hota hai, uh, duck is soft. Donor one, okay, donor wife ka safety pin leta hai, Kali ka manta hai, so uh, the Kali the fighter he likes and then so he's beefy to become very beefed up. Okay, so that's it. So this disease, so disease is called, the, the, the this this one is, one second. the disease name is called granuloma, naam mein hai, granuloma ingunale, granuloma inguinale, we call this granuloma inguinale, don't know, it's a repeated question, repeated question, characteristic, what else, BP, BP, so cone beef cut, don't and BP cut, don't and BP cut, it's caused by granuloma, granuloma, okay, calamitabitum, granuloma, okay, right, if you don't know, don't and don't and he loves his grandma, grandma, granny, granny, so granny ko, so granulomatous, perhaps you granulomatous, okay, nah? he likes his grandma, granny, granulomatous, he likes his voice, so he gives safety pin, kali ka jaisa banna jata hai donor, so usko wacha kya beef ka ta so you get a beefy ulcer, okay, got it, fine, now what is the bodies? Now, uh, capsular granulomatosis has this one. It's the same thing. This is the donor one body. So, the donor one, hey, don't confuse with the donor one, the other donor one, uh, the Lishmania donor one. Lishmania donor one, like Lishmania donor one is a parasite. Lishmania donor one. Ye kya kas karte? That kas is kala azar. Ye is ka koi link nahi hai. That's different. Yaan par donor one is actually STD. It's a sexual transmit disease. So, you see what? Donor one bodies, donor one bodies. And or it's also called safety pin or safety pin or bipolar appearance. Safety pin or bipolar appearance. Okay, that's it. So these are other important things you should know. Okay, now next. Uh, in capsule, one more thing is New Delhi Metal of Beta Lactamases. New Delhi Metal is basically a super bug. It's basically a super bug. It was uh, found in Delhi only. It was identified initially in Delhi only, may, especially from the capsule pneumonia strain. The uh, the Freilanders basically one year, and it's almost resistant to all antibiotics. That's it. It was resistant to all antibiotics. That's the main thing. That's the main thing they have found it. Okay. Wait a second. Yeah. Huh. Now, so, oh yeah. So that is so. Okay. Klebsiella part is over now. Klebsiella is done. Now we are going to Legionella. Another one of the favorite topic of examiners and mine too. Right. It's very, very easy to remember. So, what do you have to remember? Aerosol. Legion to pata hai. Legions, legions matlab, they are sort of, you know, soldiers. Military recruit, you can say. Military recruit. So, ye legions ko kya karte hai? legions military recruits hai. Usually military recruits hai. Military hai, army mein hai. Ha na? Unka kya chahiye? Toda? Tan garam chala to. Ukele AC to chahiye na? They need AC. Number one. Number two, itna garami ka kam karne ke liye kya use karte hai? Ponch powder. Ponch powder. Na, aapko to use karte hai na? South mein to we use commonly to prevent from the heat. This is sort of prickly powder we put on our body. Ponch powder chahiye humko. Phir, unke pas itna, you know, excess fitness ke liye they go what? Bicycle. They use the bicycle. Thik hai? Bas, itna hi hai. Ho gaya. Or, unka bichari, you know, uh, recruitment ho to unka kya hat hai? Usually unka pneumonia a sakta hai. Pneumonia ka saath plus kya hat hai? Diarrhea bhi a sakta hai. 
Finished. Legionella. Are you happy? Okay. <laughs> what did they say? So Legionella means the aerosol is coming from AC or coolers, air conditioner or cooler. Air conditioner cooler, if you're not properly serviced or whatever, you know, usually you can get Legionella. Disease ka naam hai Pontiac fever. Pons powder. Pontiac fever. Legion star use karta. Pons powder use karta hai. Pons powder. Pontiac fever. Frequently asked question. And or Legionus. Uh, severe form the Legionus bolte. Mild form of we called as uh, fever. But Legionus is me kya hota hai? One is atypical pneumonia. Atypical pneumonia. And other one, pneumonia, what is it? Diarrhea. Pneumonia and diarrhea. Pneumonia plus diarrhea combination comes. The question is very much asked. Legions comes. Legionella. Legionella comes. I don't know what is it. Why did I put adenovirus here? Adenovirus is such a virus. It comes from a dangerous combination. It means that adenovirus is known as Adenan Swami. Adenan Swami helps which children? Children which are having eye problems. Children with what? Eye problem. Pneumonia problem. That is respiratory infection. Diarrhea, fever, as a combination. So those this type of combination clinical questions are there. So two things. One is Legionella bacteria. Me, yada yah kit try kono si. Dosra adenovirus. A den full of children crying, sneezing, diarrhea, sab kuch aata hai. Adnan Swami uska space vehicle me kahan leke jaata hai. So it's adenovirus space vehicle appearance. Okay, you're getting it. You're getting it right. Easy peasy. It's very easy. Very easy. micro is awesome subject. Awesome means super duper easy subject. If you really Want to score good in your um, FMG or in your uh, need PG? You know, I guarantee. It. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a black color. So, black color means definitely charcoal media. Hai. Charcoal, hai, charcoal. Hai, but us come completely. What do they say? B Y C or B C Y. Both are fine. B Y C. Bicycle. I have said that. Oh, bicycle. Me, go to the legionnaires. They'll go in a bicycle. So, us ka how you're going to put? It's a B Y B Y C or B C. It's okay. We can write it here. B C Y. Okay. Buffer charcoal yeast extract. A B question. Charcoal naam se kuch aag gaya to, you will think about this one. Okay, Legionella. Okay. So, L may be, we have a lot of Ls in microbiome. We have uh, Listeria, Leptospira, Legionella. You know, all these three, uh, at least these three are important. Listeria, Leptospira, Legionella. So, ek, one L is over. Le, Legionella, abhi, Listeria, Monocyte. Listeria, Monocyte is both favorite questions. Sabko. Because, kyun? Because this is the, this is the only gram Positive bacilli, gram positive bacilli that causes meningitis. Especially neonates. When you me, if you remember, it's one of the common cause of meningitis, but it's a gram positive. That's the important point here. That's the most important point here. You have to remember. Okay. You understand it, right? Okay. So yeah, yeah. Aapko picture mein aega, CSF ka sample. In CSF sample, you're seeing a gram positive bacilli. Ye, ye clues in ye, in neonate. Neonate CSF me gram positive bacilli, then child is having symptom of meningitis. What is the bacteria? See the listeria because aapka McDonald's me aata hai na ye. McDonald's. McDonald's. Uh, ye is silent hai. Ye L aage na, that's listeria monocytogens. Okay, you got it? So you have what? It's a gram positive bacilli. Once again, gram positive bacilli. It grows in the refrigerator food. The most common is usually raw milk. Raw milk intakes adult growth, of course, raw milk intakes aata hai. Then vertical transmission also possible. Okay, but mostly raw, raw milk. So pregnancy may what happen? It can cause abortion and the uh it can cause abortion and stillbirth. Both are possible. Neonate may, of course. Again, I'm repeating meningitis, one of the top three bacteria that's causing meningitis in the neonates. Okay. And so of course, sepsis is also possible, but usually meningitis. That's a question. Okay, that's a question. Now, motility. Listeria ka motility is the most most popular one. You know what? Kese yaad karna hai? How, what list? What list? Anybody? Anybody? Can you say what is the list? List? You call it as a tum list. Tum list. So, matlab tumbling motility. Ek aur hai. Bhot bhot pucha nahi hai. Differential motility. Dono right. Both are right. Different. Tumbling to tumbling. Hai. It's tumbling. Okay. List tumble. List tumble. List tumble. Okay. List tumble. The dusra hai. Uh, 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 this one, uh, your uh, uh, it's a uh, 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 differential cure because at low temp 25 degrees Celsius, it's motile, but temperature jada ho it becomes non motile. That's what we call as differential, okay? Differential and both are common for a listeria. Your listeria has two types of motility, okay? It has the, the tumbling motility and differential motility. Anton test, what is Anton test? Like you have so many tests, no? Like a uh, chic test, we had eligible precipitation test. Now we have Ascoli thermal precipitation test. Okay, all those tests. So the Anton, Anton test is basically rabbit eye. Up rabbit ka eye may you get a conjunctivitis. That's it. It's basically uh, like this. Okay, it's basically rabbit eye conjunctivitis. Uh, like 
Example C, other example, LXL is for diphtheria, you know, and your Ascola is for your basilis anthraxis. These are other few examples. Just I brought it here, remember. And then camp listeria also it gives camp positive, camp positive, less us question, but still remember. Okay. So main thing is Anton test is remember. Remember, Anton, you remember. Anton, Anthony gets what? Anthony gets the listeria. Anton gets the listeria, listeria monocytogens. Okay, right. Okay, camp and then Anton test. Rabbit eye, if you go put in rabbit eye, you get conjunctivitis. Okay, that's it. This point you have to remember. Okay. Next is your Important topic, mycobacterium TB. Mycobacterium. So we're going to order, right? So L is over. Uh, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, K, L. Now next is Yum. We'll talk about Yum. Yum, our M, okay? Uh, so uh, I have tough time pronouncing Yum in North India. You know, people always say it's Yum, Yum, all those things, okay? Anyway, so now the interesting topic is mycobacterium tuberculosis. So what is the thing? First one is your, first one is your. What are the important features of mycobacterium? The name itself, you can see, myco, right? It's a myco. Myco, right? It's myco. So it is mycolic acid. You have mycolic acid. Number one, it has mycolic acid. That's what it's acid first and obligate aerob, always aerob. What is the virulence factor? The one of the most important virulence factors is lipo lamb. Lamb is lipo arabinomanin. Lipo arabinomanin. Lipo arabinomanin. Okay. Lipo arabinomanin. Very important virulence factor. Apart from what? TB agato patient kya karega? Patient to put the cord. The TB is the patient depression may card may merge. So card factor. Okay. It's an acre man. I'm just saying it's for clue. Okay. Uh, so another one is your card liparabinomen and another one is your card factor. Card factor. These are the two important things. Okay. Liparabinomen, card factor are the two important virulence factor, and it's mycolic acid is there. That's what it is. Uh, acid first. Now, what is the clinical future? So you have primary TB and secondary TB. So this is see this, this picture. This is a if you see this infection, it is in the lower lobe, lower lobe. Right? This is the lower lobe, this here. Okay, it's a lower lobe. So you can see the uh, lesion here. So that is your primary TB. Primary TB is always in the lower lobe. And the secondary TB is usually in the upper lobe, apical region, especially in the apical region. Okay, that's important question. Okay, remember carefully. That question can be asked. So primary TB. We see a primary TB. The initial exogen infection caused by the first, then you know, usually in childhood, the initial exposure, you know, you're getting it in childhood. So the primary, this is the, uh, that was the focus called Gons focus. Gons focus. Gons focus usually seen what? Lower lobe. Lower lobe is the main thing. Lower lobe ka upper border. That's fine. Okay. Upper border is not upper lobe. Lower border, this picture, this picture was a question. This picture can be a question. A lower lobe may aata hai. Lower lobe or in lower lobe, somewhat upper border. It can come. Okay. But remember, it's a lower lobe. And Gons complex, complex means what? When the Gons complex is nothing but when you, when the Gons focus, when the Gons focus plus lymph node, lymph node, you know, that the mediastinal lymph node, when you get affected, that you call Gons complex. Ranke's complex is basically a calcified Gons complex. Calcified hogato, Ranke, we call it as Ranke's. Okay, Ranke's close. So, all our question. Ranke means Gons focus in the lower lobe, Gons complex is Gons focus plus lymph node. The connection that what I have, I mean, the, the lymph node and the focus, don't know, you know, kind of that. Ranky means it's a calcified, 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 calcified. Okay, now, what about this? So, this is now another picture. Another picture, this gives a clue. This is upper lobe. Mein hai. So, upper lobe means that is usually, this is the one, right? Upper lobe. Upper lobe. Mein hai. So, that is the secondary TB. Secondary TB. So, it's a reactivation of the primary TB. Usually, remember that, it's usually reactivation of the TB due to exogenous reactivation of latent infection or exogenous reinfection. And usually it is seen where? It is usually seen in the uh, upper lobe. That's important. Secondary TB. Don't think primary or uh, upper lobe again. No. Primary always starts down and secondary goes upper. Reactivation and it goes upper. Because upper lobe is very much oxygen. Hai. Because it's an aerobe. No. It's an aerobe. Microbiotum is a pure aerobe. Oxygen is a aerobe. So this apical region. Now yes, we have so many. What is uh, uh what is this focus? There is some focus called sub plural. That is the Simon's focus. Simon's focus. Eh? Yes for yes. Yes for sub plural. Sub plural. Plural. Just under the plural, there are some focus. That's a Simon's focus. This is seen in secondary TV. Yes for yes. Yes for yes. And A for Asman. Asman. Asman's focus. Asman focuses infraclavicular. Uh, Asman focuses infraclavicular. Uh, not like a vulgar, but you know when they say uh as as is not right and to be anal as when they say it's Always, uh, it's always Nietzsche, right? It's Nietzsche. So it is infraclavicular. Okay. Asman is Nietzsche, infraclavicular. Remember like that. Asman, Nietzsche, infraclavicular. That's it. Okay. Asman's focus. That's it. Simon's focus, Asman's focus. Okay. Asman is always infra. As is always in inferior. Infra. Okay. 
It's just for remembrance only, nothing offensive here. Okay. Yes. Simon means subplural. S for S and then the same for plural. That's it. Okay. So Simon focus, Asman focus. So how many names you have? Ranki, Gons, uh, Asman, and uh, Simon. All are, all are. You never know. Question can be asked from anywhere. And the typical killing phase of TB, you know, it should be a productive cough. A productive cough. And then for more than two weeks, hemoptysis, fever, nitrous, and chills. Okay. And uh, usually when they are with HIV, it's... Obviously, if the patient is HIV positive, then definitely it's TB only with these symptoms. Okay, very very common disease in our India: cough, hemoptysis, fever, night chills for uh, more than you know two weeks, three weeks, or months. Okay, now that is for your pulmonary. What about extra pulmonary TB? So extra pulmonary TB, apart from your lungs, which is the most common site. This is frequent asked question, and I'm sure all of you know this. Which is the most common? It is your lymph nodes. Lymph node, lymph node, lymph node. May again where it is your cervical or Supraclavicular, supraclavicular, cervical or supraclavicular lymph nodes are the most common uh, site. This is the most common, most common site is this one. Okay, so lymph node is the most common extra pulmonary. In CNS, it causes what? TB meningitis. TB meningitis. Yeah, you know. And then TB meningitis, what you see, what is that phenomena? Phenomena, when you take the CSF and this is the cobweb phenomena. Cobweb phenomena is seen. Cobweb phenomena. So more a patho question, but again, yeah. Pop web phenomena is seen in the uh, CS. We take the CF. That's also a question. Can be asked. Bone may. What is the bone? Ka name kya bolta hai? What do you say? What spine? Pot spine. When it is in the vertebra, you call it as a pot spine. Question, question, question. And most common is in the lower thoracic. That's also important. Pot spine is common in the lower thoracic. T for T. T for TB. TB thoracic. TB is always thoracic. Thoracic spine. Thoracic vertebra. Okay, thoracic vertebra. So in the vertebra, pot spine. And GMH common in the iliocecal junction. Ilio Sacral junction and you know illustrating how is the ulcer it is transverse ulcer transverse ulcer because you know you have a longitudinal also longitudinal comparata your salmonella and then uh flask ship amoebiosis we're going to talk that don't worry so but t for t remember t for t tb is transverse ulcer okay yes you need me renal tb it causes jenny tell me what it causes it causes infertility one of the common causes for infertility especially Due to fallopian, anything related with fallopian. When your fallopian to block happens, that most common cause is usually your TB, gentle TB. It's an important cause, okay, for fallopian tube and causing the infertility. Skin may causes many things. A skin may cause many things, but what is most important? What is the, which is the most important one here? In uh in, in skin, which is the most important one? Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. Just going to close this. The newest thing is open. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. Got it. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, skin. Uh, sorry for the discussion. So, this is now what happened. In a gentle TB, if you is skin gentle, so over now skin. We are going to talk about the skin. Skin may it causes what? Scrofalo. Scrofaloderma. Scrofalo or scro scrofalo or scrofalo whatever it is it's your scrofalo okay but the most important in skin lesion is what your lupus vulgaris lupus vulgaris question is frequently asked which is the most common skin uh, lesion lupus vulgaris your tb in skin it causes lupus vulgaris scrofalo derma scrofalo they are fine they are also there because basically lymph node with skin is affected that's scrofalo but lupus vulgaris is a characteristic lesion that is common for tb 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 don't forget lupus vulgaris okay that's very important then miller tb miller tb what is a miller tb miller tb is usually seen in which patient hiv patient this is it's usually scattered everywhere but it's severely spread okay like a seed you know small 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 seeds like this that's what it's rapidly spread, disseminated form of tb you know that's a miller tb which is common in hiv patients so these are the frequently asked questions in your uh, microvitamin tuberculosis right now this is the clinical feature diagnosis you usually ask for two samples right two samples what are the when are the two samples you must be knowing for sure when a patient is suspected with TB, what are the two samples you'll ask? One will ask on the spot, on spot. And the other one is on the next day morning. Next day morning. Next day morning. Next day morning. Okay, don't forget. Okay, don't know morning, morning. One immediate on spot, another one on the next day morning. Okay, that's it. Decongestion and decontamination. Because sputum has a lot of, you know, saliva, glove and everything. So we have to clean all those things and get a huge sputum. For that, what do you want to do? You use the Petrov's method. Petrov's. Petrov's method. Okay, Petrov's method. This is a acid fast stain. Acid fast stain, or also Zeal Nielsen stain, we can say. What you're seeing here is a beaded, this pink beaded bacilli. This pink beaded bacilli is nothing but what? Your 
mycobacterium tuberculosis. Got it? Pink beaded bacilli is exactly the term you're going to use, okay? Because of what? Carbolfuxin. Carbolfuxin is the primary stain, and your secondary stain is methylene blue. So, usko vetsa carbolfuxin vetsa, you get this pink beaded bacilli. Okay, that's it. So, microscopy, you get this picture if you get. If they say uh, get blue or uh, pink combination, I get it, that is your microbiome tuberculosis. You can get it, definitely. This, this all are, these pictures all are like, you know, mandatory. Mandatorily, you must know. Okay, right. Now, microscopy. Acid first stain, also called as what? Zeal Nielsen. Okay, you also call it as Zeal Nielsen, right? Acid first staining. Other name of the acid first staining is also called as Zeal Nielsen. ZN or Zeal Nielsen. And what is this thing? You what is the H2SO4 you're using here? Uh, you you do an intermittent in acid first staining. What you do is you do the intermittent heating. You do what intermittent heating? Heating is necessary here, right? Heating is necessary. That's called intermittent heating. You do, but uh, and of course you're using twenty five percent H2SO4. I we already discussed in general that how many, each has different different percentage of uh, acid first we use different percentage of H2SO4. Cold method is quinone method. This can be as in quinone method. We are not used doing the heating. That's it. Heating nahi hota hai. We do, we just, uh, you know, prolong the uh, time of the primary stain. That's it. We are prolonging it. That's it. That's the thing. So you can do cold. If you don't want to do heating method, you can do cold. Of course, usually we use a heating method only, proper heating method. Okay. Culture. Culture, this is very easy. I'm sure you guys must be knowing this by the any blue color media. That is what? That is your LJ media. LJ media. LJ is what? Lowenstein Jensen's media. Okay. Remember, that's the one of the enriched media. Enriched media also. It's the selective media, enriched and selective media for your TV, selective media for TV. Okay, we have talked many times. So please remember, these are the questions you shouldn't make mistake at all. Okay, now, solid. A solid media, uh, as we told, this is the solid media. When you talk about solid media, LJ media was the solid. Uh, this is the solid media, right? LJ media. So how many days it takes? It takes a lot of days. It takes, you know, weeks. It takes maybe months, you know. It takes... Uh, uh let's say more than more than six to eight weeks six to eight nearly six to eight weeks and a containing media is this lj media and the other is middle broke medium they all are related to this only a liquid is the rapid one you get what within a week one week is one to two weeks just just maximum two weeks but within one week itself you'll get that's the main thing we're using for liquid okay we get it within uh, two weeks one to two weeks. Let's say one to two weeks, so it's ready. Okay. So that's the back tech. In automated, what is the name called? Midget. You should know all the names. All the names. That is midget. Microbacterium growth indicator tube. Microbacterium growth indicator tube. These all are automated. These days, automated is popular. Okay. Back tech, back T alert or midget. Okay. And MPT64 is one more antigen test that is used only for microbacterium tuberculosis, but it's not for non-TB. Okay. This is also another uh, test method, very MPT. Molecular method, you know, molecular method is the popular one. That is your CB NAT. CB NAT. Okay. CB NAT is basically cartilage based nucleic acid amplification testing. That's a question. Gold standard. Uh, I can't say gold standard. Sorry. Gold standard is always cultured, but this is very what? The very popular recent one, the recent one and more confirmatory one. Okay. So CB nut. CB nut is uh, these days CB nut is becoming very, very popular. Okay. And CB nut is popular. And apart from that, we can say about gene expert. Gene expert. Okay. When you talk about this, I'm going to write here. Yeah. Gene expert. Gene expert. Or gene expert RIF. That means only rifampicin we are using. Okay. Gene expert are RIF we call. That means in gene expert, we are using rifampicin also. Okay, rifampicin also. That's it. So these are the important things that uh, about your tuberculosis. Okay, and yeah, I forgot to tell about the latent TB. In latent TB, of course, in latent TB means when the TB is not there. You know that time you can do two tests. What are those tests? One is your Montex test, and other one is your IGRA. IGRA is interferon gamma gold. That is gold assay. You call it, you no know? IGRA test. Okay, IGRA. Okay, so what is here? What in a uh, in a uh, uh, IGRA test or uh, Montex test? The, and in Montex test, you know what you do? You just inject the uh, uh, tuberculin by your injecting, and then if it if you and you check for the uh, check for the, in, in skin when injecting, you have to check you have to measure the lesion. So if the lesion is more than ten mm, that is positive, but if it is less than five mm, it is negative. But this is usually important for childrens only. The diagnosis for children it is. Helpful, Montox test. 
not for that's tuberculin test okay tuberculin or montex test which is type 4 hypersensitization you already know that is for children but not for the adults adults is only give the clues not for this thing so please remember for children this has very very important significance okay montex test and uh, igra is another test oh you know golden uh it's based on you know how much the mediate is released when you're injecting the this thing this is a type of elisa test igra is a type of elisa test that's also another for later okay that's all this is for the tb and uh, one more thing for the vaccination, yeah. So vaccination, I think we're going to talk, talk next. Okay, we'll talk next with uh, before going to the microbiome lepre. We will talk. Okay. So thank you so much. So uh, we will uh, end with this session here and more again in coming class. Okay. Thank you.